Today is Tuesday, February 19th. And here's the word. Starting us out this week, Duke launched the dedication of the Mary Duke Biddle Trent Seaman Center, the new home to medical education. The six-story, 104,000 square foot health education building is located at the heart of the Duke Medical Center. Pope Benedict XVI stated he would formally resign from his position as leader of the Catholic Church on February 28th, citing deteriorating strength as the reason. He will be the first pope to resign since the Middle Ages. We asked Duke Catholic priest Father Michael Martin about the implications of this shocking announcement. The new Holy Father will be in a unique circumstance of having his predecessor still alive. And so I think that will be uh, certainly a blessing for him and that someone with whom he can consult. Last Tuesday, President Obama delivered the State of the Union Address at Capitol Hill. The president covered a wide range of issues, including government spending, gay rights, immigration reform, universal access to preschools, and international relations with North Korea. On Thursday, the artist lineup for the LDOT concert was announced via Duke Student Broadcasting video and email. The artists for the April 24th show are Kendrick Lamar, Steve Aoki, and Travis Porter. Finally, don't forget to watch the 85th Annual Academy Awards. Airing this Sunday, February 24th, hosted by Seth MacFarland. That's the word. Check back on DukeStudentBroadcasting.com for the latest Duke news. And see you next week.